Welcome back to a little extra on the pilot boat build and this is how the electrics all fit together. Now obviously there are many other ways of doing this, this is just my way, it works for me. This is the receiver for this transmitter. It's a Turnigy 4 channel retails for around about 45 to 50 pounds and I use this in all my boats and I've got a couple of receivers which are bonded as it's called or bin <laughs> it's not bonded it's it's binded but that's not a word is it so I use the word bonded anyway you bond the two together it actually comes the transmitter and receiver that you buy if you buy it together they're already done for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And that is here, that is the servo which operates the rudder, which you can see there. And the servo has a connector which goes to the receiver. And that's using one channel then on the receiver. And the other channel goes to the motor. So if we follow this bit of cabling through here there's an extension I've put an extension cable on this because it needs it's a bit of a run and that leads to this unit here and if I can just get in there that unit there is a Viper Marine 15 amp and it's called an ESC or electronic speed control is what it means and built into that is a battery elimination circuit now I don't know much about electronics, but it all it all works, put it that way. And it's very much plug and play, you just connect it up and it just seems to work. So that, that's a good thing for me. And from this uh put it out and you have a look. That's the uh Viper Marine unit. Now I have tested this underwater. I had a boat sink and the uh afterwards the batteries had had it but the uh speed control that was that was still working perfectly well as was the motor surprisingly enough even though it was in salt water and i'm using that motor in another model um right so that's got the wire comes out which leads if you excuse the pun leads to a fuse and that uh, that's a 10 amp fuse in there to uh, protect the speed control and the motor that leads that wire then goes into one of the terminals on the motor and we're using an mfa torpedo 500 motor here which seems to work very well on this particular model and the other terminal on the motor leads to the other terminal on the speed control so you've got a blue and yellow wire out of the speed controller leading to the fuse and that leads to the motor. The other two wires from the speed control are the on-off switch. It comes with its own on-off switch, but I have had problems with that, so I fit a different, more robust on-off switch. Just get these out of the way. And you can see that's, that's the on-off switch there. Right, like that. And now the other connector to the speed control is the power in from the battery and this is called a Tamiya connector this particular one that type and you can't misconnect it it's, uh, it's handed so you, when you plug it in it just connects the right way around and from the speed control as I said before is this which leads to the other channel on the receiver and that other channel on the receiver that gives you speed control as you might expect now i use two batteries these are 4.8 volts each and i connect them together using one of these y connectors once again has tamiya type connectors on once again you can't go wrong connecting this up and that joins the two of these in series 
And by connecting in a series, that gives you 9.6 volts, doubling up the 4.8 each. So that gives me a fair bit of power to the motor. So let me just show you the motor again. That's just touching there. And is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. It's pretty well. The, sometimes the batteries come with two leads. I don't quite know what. There's a different sort of connector. Don't use that. I, I use the Tamiya type throughout. So it comes through like that and connects up to the Y connector. Like that. I won't do it for you. It's fairly obvious. And that's it. So I hope that helps anyone who's struggling with the connecting up of the electrics on one of these boats. Well, I've now put this all back together again. So you can see it looks a bit, a bit neater than it did when I was at it all apart. And you can see that's the wire connector now connected to the batteries and to the speed control or ESC. And it makes a very reliable setup.